guys, it's Iris. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing part two of my $1 makeup review series. Not really a series, but just part two of that video. Uh, today we're going to be going over beauty benefits, which you can find at Dollar Tree. I feel like this beauty benefits line is something that they're going to start carrying all the time because they've got displays everywhere and all of the, like, all of the uh, Dollar Tree haul people that I watch on YouTube, and I watch a lot of people that do Dollar Tree hauls, nearly, I mean, not even nearly, every single one of them has hauled these Beauty Benefits products. So I am going to give you a review of these products because I have been using most of these products on a regular basis since I purchased them. So let's just go ahead and jump into this. So I'm going to start with the worst one first, the eyeliner. So this is the eyeliner here. Uh, it's got just, you know, your standard liquid eyeliner tip on it. I do think that it is actually, yeah, it's actually a brush tip. There are actually bristles there, which I think is awesome. I was so stoked for that. I was thinking, you know, I'm going to be able to make these really nice, precise lines because I don't know if you guys uh, have watched any of my other videos or if you're, you know, you watch I was about to say the same thing that I just said. I don't know if you've seen my other videos or if you watch regularly things that I post, but I have been doing a series of makeup hacks. Things that I've seen other people do on, you know, Instagram or Facebook or that I found on Pinterest that I've been trying and nearly every one of them is eyeliner. So I've really been having problems doing my winged liner. And that's because my skin is maturing. I've got some really fine lines over here. So you know, winged liner does not really work that well for me. So I was really excited that I was going to have, you know, a brush that had a really nice precise tip on it. But you guys, this is a terrible eyeliner. I think, you know, in a pinch for a dollar, fine. But if you're wanting this to be like your holy grail, just hang that up right now because this is not good. Now, it's possible that I got a bad batch, but I mean, really for a dollar, I should maybe give it the benefit of the doubt and I maybe should try it again but I'm not going to. Let me tell you why I think this is so terrible. One, the consistency is extremely thin. It seems very, not watery, but watery. Like if that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you very well what I mean here, but I'm gonna go across here. Like, do you see that? Like there's, there's nothing that comes off of here. Like, do you see how thin and, like, if you push down a lot, you can get that. But, I mean, if you've got a tip like that, you want to be able to get a really nice, clean line. And it just fades into nothing. So, I don't know. For me, the consistency is not good at all. Um, I had a makeup wipe. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I have a wad of makeup wipes because I pulled out way too many. Uh, oh, that's something that I didn't say in my Shop Miss A haul review. I didn't talk about the makeup wipes. I bought like three or four different uh, scents or whatever of them. And you guys, so far I've opened the uh, rose water ones and I love them. I love, love, love them. Uh, anyway, back to this eyeliner. It's thin, it's not dark enough. The applicator, like I said, is really great, but it doesn't pick up nearly enough product. Uh, so yeah, I just, I don't know. If you guys have used this, let me know down below. Do you like it? Did I just get a bad batch? You know, what's going on? Because for me, I don't know. If I'm using a black eyeliner, I want it to be really dark. And I want it to be, you know, thick enough to actually do something on my eyeballs, you know? But this, not so great. Now, for a young girl that is, you know, just learning how to use liquid eyeliner, I think it's great. But for somebody like me who wears makeup every day and has been for umpteen billion years, not so great. Uh, so the mascara. Not terrible for a dollar, you guys. I got the volumizing. I did not realize they had two different ones, but they have a volumizing and a lengthening. I have the volumizing. Um, and like I said, for, for a buck, I mean, it's pretty good. It's a, uh, I mean, what can you say about mascara? 
I mean, you've heard me talk about mascara before, so really you can say a lot about mascara. But I like the, um, I like the wand. I like the applicator. It's, you know, a standard type. Uh, it's not waterproof, but you guys, I've worn this and gone swimming and wiped my face and nothing came off. I don't know what's up with that. I'm not complaining about it. I even told my husband because we went, um, we took our, our son down to the pool to go swimming for the first time this summer. And like I said, I had, I was wearing this. And I had like actually submerged myself completely in the water. And you know, when you come back up from the water, you wipe your eyes, just it's a natural thing. And I'm like wiping and rubbing. And I said, you know what? I bet there is mascara all over my face. And he said, no, there's not. And I even wiped underneath and I, there was nothing. So not bad for a dollar. If you're just like in a pinch, you know, it happens. I've been there, you know, you're out of mascara. And you just need something, but you are broke as a joke, and it is not funny. Not bad. Go ahead and pick it up. It'll do you. It'll do you until you can get what you really want. Okay, so bronzer. I feel like I am not doing a good job in this review video. We're going to keep going, though. The bronzer, um, and I am sorry. They do not print the shade names anywhere on this, this packaging. It's on the original like cardboard packaging, but that's already been thrown away. So I have no idea what shade this is. Now maybe you can backtrack when I actually hauled this and you can see what color it is. But uh, you guys, it's not bad. It's not bad. Now it's, it's very pigmented. Um, I didn't notice that it was patchy at all. I feel like, you know, it did a pretty good job. I'm gonna swatch it for you. There it is on my finger. And there it is right there on my hand. I feel like though, until I get some more color on my face, um, I feel like this might be a little too dark for me. I don't like a super dark bronzer. Uh, I just like enough of a bronzer to give me a little bit, just a little bit of color, just a little bit of a glow, if you will. So I feel like this might be a bit dark for me at the moment, but it's pretty good, you guys. I mean, for a dollar, this kind of knocked it out of the park for a buck. So not mad about that. The blush as well, still very pigmented. Did not notice it being patchy. Um, and I feel like this is a really great shade for me. I, I said when I hauled this, this seems like the type of color that I used to grab gravitate towards that I have tried to in the past couple of months break away from because I feel like this type of shade can be really bright and I'm very heavy-handed with my blush this I don't really have a problem with it like if it's not terribly bright though like when you put it on in the pan it looks really bright but I mean even if you build on top of it, it's still not just crazy, you know, and it's, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but not really a shimmer, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I mean, you can build on it and it still doesn't look just crazy. Now, yeah, if I put on like three coats of this, absolutely, it would probably look crazy. But I have done that and it did start to get a little bit too much. And I just went back over it with some powder or with my blending sponge and just kind of blended it away a little bit and it was fine. But you guys, if you're wondering whether or not you should spend your money on this, I would say go ahead and do it because I am digging this blush. It is absolutely going to have a place in my vanity area because whew, it's some good stuff. Okay, so the last thing we're going to talk about is these eyeshadow trios. Like I said, every YouTuber that does Dollar Tree hauls that I watch is hauling these things and nearly every one of them has hauled these eyeshadows. So let me just tell you, again, very pigmented. Uh, I noticed putting them on and there was like little to no fallout in them. Uh, even, well, I don't think any of them have, yeah, this one does. I think this one... I want to say this one is Earth, but I don't remember. Like I said, they don't have the names. 
the uh yeah they don't have the names printed anywhere on these but i feel like this one is earth or maybe this one was earth either way this one has some uh some shimmers in it well actually the whole thing is shimmer but even with this one i didn't notice any fallout at all you guys and that is saying a lot because most i mean even some of the more pricier eyeshadows that i have used if they're super pigmented or they've got shimmer in them I almost always get fallout and the, you guys these I didn't get any fallout from these like I mean of course like anywhere that I like super blend anytime I do my crease because of the way I blend it um I always like it it fluffs out so I always do end up getting some fallout here but not nearly as much as I get with most other things so like I said little to no fallout on these however um all three of them they're uh they're trio so there's three shades because that's what trio means uh and you know side by side they all look great together and it feels like you know you could do some really great looks with these like these are really beautiful colors but so far for me anytime i have used these and i use all three shades but anytime i have done it i don't know i feel like they just they don't blend together well and they get very muddy so and the dark shades are super duper dark like this the shades that you would use in your crease who very dark so like with this one this is the darkest shade it is super duper dark I'm gonna I'll swatch all three of them for you so there's your dark shade there's your middle shade and there's your highlight you guys like that is dark 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 uh i'll swatch the other ones for you too really quickly because this video doesn't seem like it's going to be super long so let me swatch these ones for you as well i'll do this one next so of course this one is going to be dark but i also feel like they didn't follow the same pattern when they did any of these i feel like they just threw some stuff in a pan but here's the darkest shade here's the mid shade and the uh, highlight and I mean of course I mean I like really packed it on there but you guys even on the brush when you when you use a brush and put these on it actually does show up that that dark so like I said when you try to blend them together they just kind of muddy together and I think that's because the darkest shade in all of these is really super dark so there's the last one what I'll do for you in this one this one I wanted to like so much this is the one that I wanted the most okay and here's what I'm saying again like it feels like the darkest shade is not in the same spot like they didn't follow a pattern there but this is your darkest shade here's your mid and here's your highlight or maybe I'm doing that wrong maybe this is supposed to be your all over and this is supposed to be your uh, crease but I would think that this one would be your all over and this one would be your um, crease. Why, why can I not remember that word? I just said it literally 15 seconds ago and I can't remember it. Okay, but here's what they look like when you swatch them. This shade right here, I am in love with. But this is going to be another one of those cases where like I like one or two shades in the palette, if you will, in the trio but none of the other ones so I'm gonna have to just dip into it because I like one shade and that's it and then I'm gonna have to go to something else to use with it but like I said you guys they're super pigmented I don't get any fallout with them so they're not bad so I think you know except for the eyeliner for a buck you guys I think they're a win that's my final verdict so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, this thing right here. Uh, also, if you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. While you're at it, hit the bell next to it. That's going to give you notifications on when I post new videos. And also, if you are not following me on Instagram, you should follow me there too. It's BlexiBeauty82, the same way that it is spelled here. I'm going to go take this stuff off of my face and go to bed now. I hope you guys have a great night, day, whatever time of day it is for you. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.